Hello viewers, I'm sure many of you have a car with an automatic transmission and enjoy driving it. With their smooth and automated gear changes, automatics are more comfortable and relaxed to use than manuals nowadays. But what happens when your automatic transmission starts to shift erratically and behave strangely? By looking up the symptoms on the internet, you will probably come across horror stories and may become even more confused than you already were. However, in most cases, these problems are caused by malfunctioning shift solenoids, which luckily are usually not that difficult to fix. So in this video, we will learn what a shift solenoid is, how to check if it's working properly and what to do if it isn't. But before we do that, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button. From the driver's point of view, the automatic transmission is super easy to use. You just shift into drive and the car goes. But what happens behind the scene is much more elaborate, although I will try to explain this in a few simple words. The ECU, also known as the powertrain module in some cars, monitors a wide range of driving parameters. This includes vehicle speed, engine speed and how much the driver presses the accelerator pedal. When the ECU determines it's time to shift, it sends an electrical signal to a series of shift solenoids inside the transmission. They are basically electromagnetic valves that open and close to control the flow of transmission fluid inside the gearbox. And it is this fluid which is under high pressure that goes into different parts of the transmission and engages or disengages different sets of gears. Frankly, there is a lot of complexity in how the shift clutch in the automatic transmission works, but we won't go there now. At this point, you just need to remember that shift solenoids are the ones that convert electrical signals from the ECU into mechanical movement that actually makes the gear changes. Obviously, if the shift solenoids aren't working properly, gear changes will be anything but ideal. This would be similar to driving a car with a manual transmission whose gear lever is loose and not properly engaged. So if you're experiencing harsh or unusual gear shifts, chances are you're having a failing or bad shift solenoid. But before jumping to any conclusions, let's first check the common symptoms. The check engine light is one of the first signs you'll notice when one of the shift solenoids is bad. Despite its name, this warning light will also appear when there is a problem with the transmission. This is because it actually indicates there is a problem with the drive trail components, which the automatic transmission definitely is. Many things can trigger a check engine light, but if it comes accompanied by erratic or unusual shifting, a faulty shift solenoid may be the cause. Still, the only reliable way of verifying this is to use a scan tool to check the codes. The P0700 trouble code is the one you're most likely to see when there is an issue with a shift solenoid, although it may be accompanied by few others. Some cars have a separate warning light that comes on when there is a transmission-related problem. In most cases, this is a red, gear-shaped symbol with an exclamation mark or something similar in the middle. If you have something like that on your dashboard, there is no doubt that your transmission has some kind of a problem. Again, it's time to take out your scan tool and check what codes are stored in the transmission control module. One of the most common symptoms of a bad shift solenoid is delayed shifting. In fact, it will take longer than usual for the transmission to shift up when you accelerate. You'll notice the engine revs up much higher than before, it shifts to a higher gear, even if your driving style hasn't changed. The similar can happen with downshifts when you slow down. Bad shift solenoids can cause the gear shifts to be erratic or harsh. In most cases, this happens because the dirt has accumulated in the solenoid itself, which obstructs its movement. 
The end result is sudden and less than smooth gear engagement, which causes the whole car to shudder while shifting gears. You may also notice that your car may sometimes skip one of its gears when shifting. For example, it can go straight from second to fourth gear under acceleration. In most cases, this will happen when a solenoid responsible for engaging the affected gear is broken. Not being able to shift into the gear, the transmission has only one option – jump directly to the next one. Besides engaging gears, shift solenoids also disengage them while upshifting or downshifting. If the shift solenoid got damaged while in gear, it may cause the transmission to be stuck in that particular gear. When you press the throttle to the floor, the automatic transmission should perform a kickdown. This effectively means knocking down a gear or two to ensure better acceleration. With a faulty shift solenoid, this will fail to happen or will not be as smooth as it should be. The automatic transmission is a complex piece of equipment and inaccurate gear shifts might damage it. This is why shift solenoid issues, if significant enough, might even send the car into limp mode. When driving with this protective feature engaged, the transmission, in most cases, will not shift past the third gear. You can find out more about limp mode in the separate video that we've made earlier. To function properly, the automatic transmission has to have enough fluid inside it. Otherwise, this fluid may overheat, which affects its hydraulic properties and the ability to actually move the mechanical parts within the transmission. So if you see the fluid level is low, you should top it off ASAP. However, whether checking this possible or not depends on the particular make and the model. Like the oil inside the engine, the transmission fluid needs to be changed every once in a while. How often should this be done depends on the car and driving conditions, but it usually varies anywhere between 30,000 up to 100,000 miles. If you don't change it on time, it will start falling apart, so to say, and create buildups within the sensitive transmission components. One such is shift solenoids, whose movement will be obstructed, which, in the end, results in various shift issues. In many cases, flushing a transmission fluid can do wonders with a misbehaving transmission. Lastly, if the fluid flush hasn't helped, you probably have one or more malfunctioning shift solenoids or a wiring issue. This is especially true if your transmission started acting up all of a sudden. Predictably, you'll need a scan tool to see what error codes are stored in the memory and then use them to pinpoint the problem. First thing, you'll need a wiring diagram for your own transmission. Using it, find out which pins are going to the affected shift solenoid. Next, locate and loosen the wiring plug on the transmission. Then use the diagnostic device to start the output test for the affected shift solenoid. Measure with a multimeter to see whether you get both 12 volts and ground to the shift solenoid at the affected solenoid's connector. If not, you may have a wiring problem or a faulty transmission control module. But if you are having both 12 volts and the ground at the connector, and the shift solenoid trouble codes keep coming back after erasing it, you probably have a faulty shift solenoid. The cost of a shift solenoid replacement depends a lot on which car you have and what transmission it uses. In some cars, you can't replace just one solenoid. Instead, you have to replace the whole solenoid pack, which, needless to say, costs a lot more. And to make things worse, for some of you, there are transmissions in which you have to replace the whole valve body, which is often very expensive. In the end, when replacing either of them, you should always replace the transmission fluid and filter. I'm sure that, after seeing all this, you now know how the shift solenoid works. And more importantly, I hope that you solved your issue and that your car is now shifting smoothly. 
If so, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. But if your transmission is still behaving strangely, you may have a more severe problem. In that case, leave us a question here or at our community forum and we'll try to find a solution for you. Bye!